Experiences, but I've actually like developed friendships with Bama that I play with. Like every time I get on, yeah, yeah. Dude. What's up, dog? What's up? You did? You no, know me? it's yeah. gotten to the point where we have all the text numbers. numbers. Yeah, I'm about to say, y'all yeah. text each other. Like, hey, you getting on tonight? No, these guys. Well, that's the thing. You yeah. don't know. They're all grown men. How do you know? Because we have we got each other Instagrams. Oh, wow. yeah. And uh, one of the one of the guys, his son is like ten years old, and sometimes he plays with us, dog, and he's good. What game y'all be playing? It's just Call of Duty. Oh, okay. Warzone. So how how you end up? How do you good? find adults? Oh, so it's, it's it's typically adults on that game. But how did you end up meeting I, guys? Like, did you get dropped in a room randomly? And that's what happens, and you end right. up on a team. So you select, and you you they they based on whatever. So how did y'all play Algorithm? together the, the next time, the second time? Yeah, yeah, there was a good game. It was like, oh, man, this was good. Okay. Hey, like, let's run again. Let's run again. I'll just run it back. And then we end up running like, that just back the all, all, all night. Yeah. Oh. So then the next time, <laughs> so the next time, yeah. I'm, so the next time I'm on, oh, you know, once that, oh, okay, we played for like, a couple of hours. Hey, man, send me a little friend request. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, okay. That's yeah, how it yeah, goes. Okay. Yeah. So then you a get friend a, request on PlayStation? On the PlayStation. Okay. Dang, yeah. So, you know. I'm sorry to cut you off. Do you gotta? Can you do that with niggas on Xbox? Why you on yes. PlayStation? Yeah. So okay. the, the so battles I play with, the battles don't and I play computer, with don't even know. have okay. PlayStation. They have, have one of them has a PC. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the battles be you know. So yeah, anyway. it's just cross platform like that. Yeah. And it looks. It didn't always everywhere. used to be. Remember that? Yeah, I know. That's day. what I'm saying. That's why I asked that question. Right. So you have to have like you can't play from your phone. Nah, it's not that strong. Not that. Nah. So, I'm like last time I even dealt with the PlayStation. Video game, right. So the so the second time y'all play, how did y'all link up? So y'all, y'all got so, so, so I'm like, oh, I feel like playing Warzone. Let me get on. And what happens is you get on, and you know, if you don't have any friends, you literally have to play with randoms every time. Right, right. And people don't play right. They it, it be little kids. I'm like, okay, I can't play with you. Or um, yeah, they be talking trash. I heard they be getting racist on that John too sometimes. But they hold just on, be talking on the side on. of their neck. Hold yeah. on, dog. Hold on. All right. All right. So yeah, this story about to get good. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get interesting. Let me say that. All right. Anyway, long story short, I got a collective of, of, of dudes. One dude, um, he, he he's got like three kids. He's I ain't gonna give his name or whatever the case may be, but. He's a cool dude. Uh, another cool dude. We're all we found out we're all the same age. So it's funny because when I play with younger kids, I'm like, I can't. I don't even understand half the stuff they be saying. Right. Mm-hmm. Every at the end of the sentence, every sentence is no cap. Everything, and I'm like, dude, I, I don't know what you're talking about, dog. Right. Speak fucking English. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so you don't really know much about these people. So I think I found out. Me and one of the dudes, it's, it's three of us. Okay. Me and one of the dudes, when the other dude not around, be like, hey, yo, do you think such and such is gay? And I'm like, dog. Oh, just based on, like, I hate Sam. stuff here and there, he y'all, y'all have experienced while y'all were playing. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, because we all talk about our, we talk about, you know, our, like, he's yeah. married with kids. Right. Oh, y'all talk so, about y'all ladies. We, we, always, we always talk about situations like that, right? And, and he don't talk about nothing? But when he talks about it, it's like, it's almost it's not no. like cat. No. Nah, dog. <laughs> look, listen, listen. It's like we none of us know each other, but me and the married dude, like virtually, I feel like we be looking at each other like <laughs> <laughs> virtually. No, though. right. No. When stuff happens. What does that have to do with anything? Would you though? not no, play no, with him? Like, elaborate, so, elaborate. All right, more. so the bad oh, right, when, we, when we talk, he says, oh, you know, he says things that um, 
straight guys don't Sus. say, say little sus, like, uh, little, little like if you're trying to prove right. that you are oh, hard or homo- that, heterosexual oh yeah. uh, he seemed like a girl that's trying to be a dude nah oh, he's uh, like he, a, fel- a, a homosexual that's trying to, to not match homosexuality to yes okay yeah. And I, I put those together. Come on, you acting like they a, in the same boat to me. You acting like a bitch, man. No, no, we, no, we always. Now we you can't like do it because you're not one, right? Oh. And then, and then <laughs> you're like, like so a look, bitch. So, look, so we be on a joint and we be talking, <laughs> and we will like say jokes and shit, and we will always say jokes. They like regular jokes, right? We're we're both me and the dad are both assholes, right? All right. Well, his jokes are always like gay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, dog, you're you take like you t- you're taking it too far, bro. Like he doesn't like, give us an example. Yeah, I need an joke. example of the gayness. Um. <laughs> all right, so we so let's say we're in the game, right? We're all shooting, pow, pow, pow. I got your back. Oh, I got your back. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, and, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> What's your name on that joke? What's your handle? All the smoke. All the smoke. I got your back. No, <laughs> really. <laughs> no. So, so here's the thing. So here's the thing. He doesn't. He sounds like a regular dude. Uh, okay. He sounds like a regular. All the smoke. Dude. I got your back you know? for real. I got your back right. for real. All the smoke. Are these are these black? Guys? Also, I'm the only black guy. Okay. Oh, that was my. Are these okay. black? Guys? Also, okay. I'm the only black guy. Okay. Right? okay. All right. There's there's three different nationalities. Man, okay. that's tough. There's black. He's there's white, and he is Asian. Indian. Oh, okay. I was about okay. To say Indian. okay. All right. But so. Man, you know what though? The lines be blurred with with Asian with brothers cultures. more so than anybody else to me. Man, so wife, it's interesting lines, you say that because they they, they be getting girl them. hairstyles real heavy, and they be dressing like women some real heavy. Too. Like I mean, you could tell when a white nah, dude. but not like Asian brothers. Obama was like, man, I want to move to San Francisco, <laughs> but it's Asians are real heavy out there Asian though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. He don't think he moving there for the Asians. I mean, I, I, I imagine, you know, I wouldn't uh, either, but he, at the same he time. Uh, he goes back and forth because he actually lives in Canada. So oh, he goes okay. he goes back and forth. He's a cool dude. No, he is a cool dude. I'm thinking really cool. it just might be some culture. So yeah. my thing, maybe, but I think we both be like, you know, just like, what are you doing? Like, why do you, why do, we don't care. Like. You know what I'm saying? He, I think he thinks because we talk so macho and so, like, guy, it's be guy talk. And he, oh, he don't want to reveal When he it. tries to chime in. So what is his Instagram so I page say shit, like? I still say shit on the game. Like, man, that shit is gay. Okay. And what happens? And then it gets quiet. And then I'd be like, I think there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> 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 but that's what But that's what the other dude did. Then he starts laughing. The other dude start laughing. Uh, what about... Asian he, you know, he just he, he may or may not say anything, but he'll just keep going with conversation as if no, like it doesn't bother him. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, he yeah. don't comment. Yeah. So anyway, going back to the story, I'd be like, "Damn, dog, that man smoked me, bro," or like, "Damn, these dudes ran up on me." Like that's how I say. It, okay. Right, right. The white guy'd be like, "Oh, damn, dude, they got the drop on you, man." You know, whatever the case right. may be. And what would he say? The other man be like, "Damn, dude, he's gonna fuck you in your ass." <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Like, like, no way. No. Like, like, that's, that's, that's we walked up saying. to the cliff, but they just jumped off. Like, <laughs> he ran and jumped off. off. He's like, like watch out, dude. He's going to get fucked in the ass. Uh, and it's just like, I, I mean, you know what? No, white like, guys that be talking yeah, like that too, real yeah, heavy. Yeah, they be saying shit like I that. I just think it's a so, cultural thing. Yeah, I just get ready to say, yeah. colloquialism with them, yo. Yeah, it's right, real. So, okay. That's something that they do. Yeah. Anyway. I ain't talking about Asians, but like people that be around white people. Right. That's yeah. what they be saying. So let me, so let me, so let me tell y'all what yeah. happened more recently, right? Okay. Oh, okay. We're all playing. Things get hype in the game. So like, I be loud, strip us. Okay. Dog, things get hype. I get loud. It finally happened. Oh, what? He said the N word. He got killed. Somebody shot him from somewhere. And he says, Oh, you fucking nigger! Whoa. Okay. Okay, all right. Me and the white dude are like, Whoa! Whoa! (laughs) Did I say something? Or. The well, you can just, out, you can just was tell. It it, we're literally saying everything I'm saying out loud. Oh, okay. Like, whoa, like, whoa, like, whoa. Sorry. He's like, oh, shit. Oh, uh, I didn't, oh, I did not mean to say that. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, you I, didn't mean to say that. I thought I don't. I'm, That's I don't. a good story. <laughs> and I'm like, and we're like, at that point, you just might as well own it. Yeah. We're like, whoa. So him and I, I mean, we are la- laughing like, dude, what the fuck? Like, yeah. Where that came from? I was like, oh, okay. He better off just being like, I meant with an A, not E R. No. <laughs> so we're all like, imagine. so now take it back. So did no, y'all unfollow so each other? No, I don't mean I don't care. I'm just saying. Dang, we need a little. Ironically, that, ironically yeah. speaking, I think I may be cyber friends. Was the race? Great, 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 man, nothing you said though points to him being it. a homosexual. Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah. man, look, I'm just. But the to... racist part, I can see yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, he just moist, might be. Don't you think he might be moist? Nah, I just think I, I, I based on he, he, yeah, he works for like the work he does. Uh, it's also, kind of lends a hand to him. Your personal what, trainer. What uh, field does he work <laughs> in? Lulu Lemon. Oh. oh, okay, that's a little clothing clothing right. store, right? For John, women. see, see, John's getting closer for women. See, John's getting closer, so he doesn't work for the. He's a contractor. He's he's a cool dude. He's what? Nice. Oh, okay. He's a racist though. Lulu them and high is racist. Dude, dude. I don't know if they do I or they don't. The, uh, I don't know if they do or they, or they don't, but I know. What's How old is he, though? Our age. What's his Instagram He's hitting? old enough to know better. Well, no, nah, I, I know a lot of white people be, you know, they do that in private, though. And they yeah. know it's messed up, and they like, man, I ain't, I ain't trying to throw that in nobody black's face. He got to know he's playing like a game say with a black man. You know what I'm saying? You know they let us say it. They he, love to. He got to know. Like, oh, he knows oh, black people. Yeah, I'm not into it. He slipped up. White, it's, you know. yeah, it was a slip up. You can tell him. Yeah. He sounds like, you know, culturally he's a white man. So yeah. what did he say? How did he dig himself he's out of it? He's an American him? Asian. He just didn't. The game continued. And we, I just, I just, I just kept uh, basically calling him a racist the entire day. And now that's what he said. Come on, racist. Come on, You got my back, back then, you all 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 even you got six movies on your left, racist. Uh, <laughs> even, even in, uh, even like before games when we're like loading up and stuff, Talking. I'm like, dang, guys, I don't think I ever thought there would be a day where I'd be cyber friends with a racist. Right. Does he say anything? And he's just like, oh, shut the fuck up. He's just like, <laughs> like, like, you know, he's, and I'm like, dog, this is crazy. I mean, it's cool. At least I know who you are. That now. is no big deal. I, it's dog. It's the fun. It's the funniest thing. It, I, I guess, you know, other people have may bother them, or I just, no, I just, it is what it is. Yeah, that right there is good. basically what happened when, you know, Trump got into office. What to some people? That's oh, how they right. feel. Like, hey. Wow, I never thought I'd see a racist president, As a president. just be. Yeah. But it, but it is, but he is. You know, I don't know if he is or he isn't, but I'm just saying that's how most people felt. Most like, oh like wow, he probably is, but I don't think he a racist to the point where he bigot type. Yeah, I don't think he give a fuck for real. I right. think if you black and you can help him, whatever the case may be, I think he's, he's a you. classist more than anything. That's what I'm talking about. I like, think he just he make, if you talking about him, Trump. Yeah, yeah. I think he buys money, into the, the stereotypes. Yeah, if you make money for him, you cool with him. You I think he buy into the stereotypes. I think he'd be I like, oh, black people classes. typically. Yeah. But other classes, white though. people. But other classes, like she say, like if you were a little, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd probably be like, yeah, let's stay away from that guy. You know what I'm saying? But uh, if you I like a Omarosa or or yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, you know uh, what's that dude? The little, all them little yeah. conservative dudes. You know, he'd be like, yeah. yeah, that's my that's my black that's American. That's my guy. That's yeah. my black American right well, there. That's a Simmons type of cat. Yeah. Where it's yeah. like, Herman oh, he's Kane, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's the doctor? Ben, uh, ben, ben Carson. 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 Yeah. Oh, Shout yeah. out to Seven Day Adventist. Yeah, Ben Carson. <laughs> ben Carson. What does that have to do with it? He's just he's he's an Adventist. He is. Mm-hmm. Mm. Did y'all know that? Yo, I did not know. But know. you bringing up Ben Carson makes me think about Johns Hopkins, which makes Henry me think Adelaide. about this book that I'm rereading, uh, the Immortal Life of Henry. You Adelaide. already read it before? Yeah. Do you guys know Henry who? Henry oh, Adelaide. Do you know who she is? That's who they got all the DNA from, the right? Healing, the healer cell. cell. So yeah. he, they got he from Henrietta and then La from Lex. Yeah. Healer cells. Yeah. So basically, Henrietta Lex was this black woman from Baltimore. Is her family who, rich? Go ahead. You tell the story. I don't, I don't you know. Keep but just ask the question. Is her family rich well, behind that? No. Damn. But that was the end of the story. 
Next topic. <laughs> I want I to know more now. Jog my memory. So, basically, she um, she got sick. She had, like, uh, cervical cancer. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Um, She went to Johns Hopkins, and they took cells from her without her knowing. Oh, wow. What time frame was this? In this is, 40s, like, yeah. Oh, 40s. Wow. 40s. Well, uh, for, she had rights back then anyway, so. And, yeah, and she went to the colored section of the hospital, of course, so... Yeah. Um, excuse me, I just burped. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so they took cells, and basically, those cells they were up until then they were trying to find immortal cells, but every cell that they would take from anywhere would die mm-hmm. at, so within hers. a certain time. Hers ended up; they kept multiplying and multiplying oh, wow. to the point where um, to they to this day, like they've used her to cells for. Um, uh, what do you call in vitro fertilization to discover what? that they've used her cells to yeah. um, to dead. tell you can tell Down them. syndrome they didn't know how many um, chromosomes humans were supposed to have before her cells now oh, they wow. can tell you if you have too many or too little um, when the woman is pregnant they've used her cells for um, anti aging research you know Botox uh, basically she's everywhere they right. started selling her to benefit white women Benefit. To benefit, benefit humanity. science, right. humanity. Right. But the inhumane right. part is that they took it without her, unethical and inhumane. Mm-hmm. They took it without her permission. Yeah, her family, her family didn't, has to this day not received a dime. They li- literally just, um, they're just coming together to be able to sue. Her family is extremely poor. They were tobacco farmers down in Virginia. They moved to Thank Baltimore God. for a better life. So um, her, she had like a sixth grade education. She actually, her husband was her first cousin. That's not uncommon. Not, Back, especially yeah. among poor people who live yeah, in the middle yeah, of nowhere. Like that with rich people. <coughs> um, so people. her first daughter, their oldest daughter, um, she's like special needs, mm-hmm. you know, which could have been. Which makes sense as a first yeah. cousin situation. Mm-hmm. Um, anyways, mm. to this day, they're living in East Baltimore, poor. Oh, I didn't know, know that. Mm-hmm. Well, forties, yeah, that's like two generations removed. Yeah. I didn't know she was from Baltimore. I thought this was more well, she's than from down. Virginia, but yeah, up in the south or something, or that's Detroit I, when, or something like she that. She started the story, so she saying. went to you know Hop- oh, yeah, that finding Johns out. Hopkins connection jogged my memory mm. back to this book. Damn. But yeah, it's a really, really messed up situation. And like reporters, and when she died, um, first of all, she died at thirty-one, which oh, is wow. really young. Young. Yeah. to be able to like contribute to humanity the way that she did mm-hmm. um without her knowing though yeah without her knowing and without her permission without her family's permission it's just a messed up story but i'm glad that they're they finally have come together because people have tried to reach out to them for stories and oprah winfrey made a movie about her based oh, off wow. of the book that I'm reading, the mortal life. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's something. Just Oprah the couldn't you make know, basically a I'm black say, woman, huh? Oprah couldn't make nothing happen. No, well, Oprah pulled some strings. Uh-huh. I'm about to say she got. She will know. Pictures. She might. So be. Anybody making money off her? Yeah, except for her. Her. Oprah was like, "Let me get in too." And she might. Oprah probably took the proceeds from that and gave it to the family. Probably. No, probably maybe. not. You don't think so? I, I would be willing to bet that she Most did not. Most of what the they science that we have... Yeah, right. If they still live in East Baltimore and not, they don't have nothing, they ain't Oprah ain't helped them. Not that she's obligated to, but I'm just saying, if yeah. you gonna, you already see this a jacked up situation, yeah. and you ain't going to help. So to this day, um, well, they were selling her by her sales. For ten dollars a vial, mm-hmm. at one point, sometimes twenty, fifteen, twenty dollars a vial. Right, went up now. Um, but there's enough of her now. They say to wrap the Earth three times. Shit. There's more. There's more of her cells on Earth That's now crazy. that was ever in her body at this point. That's crazy. Dog. Yeah. How does um, that happen? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it, it is. God, man. That's how it happens. But I'm just saying, like, how do how does she have cells that Multi- are immortal, immortal. Yeah. I mean, oh, I see what you're saying. Like that's what yeah, I'm trying to figure know. out. Like, what's so special? I about mean, her? it could have been something based on the way that they. Uh, well, and it was science. only it was only from a particular part of her body. Like they cervix, they took right? yeah they took cultures from um, her cervix. They took cultures from the other um, 
parts of her body where the cancer was affected and those behaved as normal cells. They died off after a while. But it's only these particular cells that, that keep... To live. Yeah. So her service wasn't... It wasn't... Uh, cancer wasn't there? No. Or it when was. she died, they said that the cancer everywhere. had spread everywhere. They said they cut her open and it looked like she had a bunch of pearls in her body because oh, it was wow. just tumors Damn. everywhere. Wow. So... Mm. Um, yeah, it got everywhere by the time she died. But, um, that is just That's a, an interesting story. It's a messed up story connected to Johns Hopkins and, um, you know, why another reason why black people just don't trust medicine. Doctors yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Speaking about back, black people's trust and racism and homosexuality. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't we're here. tied all that up. <laughs> Y'all watched the Dave Chappelle special? Nope. Yes. Oh, yeah, I yes. Did. I did. I did. Dog, I was afraid that it was going to get removed. I'm glad it hadn't been removed yet. So, oh, you thought it would be removed? Yeah. I that thought it was in line with the rest of his joints. I did, too. I feel like it was. I did but the sensitivity too. wasn't in line. You know. Yeah, no, I was, I, that's I, why I was shocked about people's but, reaction to it. I, I was like, they didn't watch the other ones? Right. Mm-hmm. I thought it was going to be removed before I watched it. That's why I, uh, I was like, let me watch it now real before quick, they... Yeah. What y'all think? What y'all think about y'all? Did y'all enjoy it? I, I, it like, I did. I like how he brilliant. did it. Man. Yeah, yeah, I like how he did I, it. I, I like that his his comedy is like a lecture almost. Right. It is. He is and one he of the. He ties things. In. He he, it, yeah. he does. Uh, I think Dave Chappelle. He's, he's funny. He's an artist, but his storytelling, his yeah. ability to Still just tell stories. a story. I agree. It doesn't even have to be funny. Just the way that he tells a story is I it agree. draws you in. I don't think he's a great storyteller. I just mm. think that he is good at getting his point he's home. He's good, like, like you th- he's just a lecturer. lecturer. Like it's yeah. like a it's a funny Speak, lecture. Like a speaker. Yeah. Right. yeah, it's like like I, I've seen other storytellers that tell funnier stories, right? Mm. But man, it's something special about what he does with his whole little comedy set. Like, see, like, I would I would say storytelling. Yes, it's like, it's like a teach- teacher. He it's does like a lecture teach- almost. And you know who be telling good stories, dog? I ain't gonna lie, this is completely off subject. Rick Ross, dog. Oh, uh, yeah. does he used to be painting a picture like shit. Biggie dog. did too, though. Biggie was a mac. He was yeah. words, man. Nah, but what y'all think about the backlash that he's getting from? I think it's uh, stupid. I'm not surprised. I think it's I mean, like, I, how would they be? How I'm not transgender, so I, I can't really. So say it's that. only the transgender community. Yes, that was what I saw. Part, yeah, yeah. But I'm yeah, not transgender. I have right to up. check in. But with I don't the understand how somebody could be upset about him saying, "Listen, I'm not what they are saying I am." You know what I'm saying? I have transgender friend. I had a transgender friend. Whatever right. can they be? Who right. will vouch for me? Right, you know what I'm saying. He was like, "That's all he was saying." He was like, "I'm so not," I, you, but I don't understand what they're what like exactly what they're upset about. Does anybody know like man. why they're why they're trying to boycott the situation? Apparently, there are uh, people who work out in Netflix, Netflix whatever the case, who are trying to, who are transgender <clears throat> or trans or whatever. I hope Nothing that they be doing makes home, sense guys. to me. So, yeah, so people can <laughs> so, so new people can come up. Some new people come right. <laughs> like I said, nothing that they do makes sense to me. So I just don't even the try to make sense of it. The sensitivity is incredible, though. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it just goes to what he was saying, man. Like, you know. So like, with, with that being said, y'all say that. But John Gruden. Right. All so, of the, that just goes to what he was fill saying. Fill me in. Man. What's John Gruden? No. So, so John Gruden is a, the, uh, he's a very coach. famous coach. Mm-hmm. He, Chucky. He, um, yeah, he's, he's known as Chucky because he kind of looks like Chucky the doll. Oh, was he from the Patriots? No. Nah. Nah. Wrong person. Tampa Sorry. Bay. Yeah, <laughs> That's okay. <clears throat> so he won a Super Bowl with Tampa Bay years ago. Um, went into television. Uh, television broadcasting. He was doing Monday Night Football for years. He was oh, like the geez. analyst. He won that Super Bowl off of Tony Dungy's back too, but he we did. ain't going to do that. He did. Mm-hmm. Um, but nonetheless, he's currently now... The well, he was before what happened Monday night. The Las Vegas. He was the coach for the Las Vegas Raiders. Okay. He signed probably one of the biggest or the most lucrative ten years, hundred million million dollar dollar deal. deal. Ten years, a hundred million dollars for a coach. For a coach. He had a a (laughs) resign. And he wasn't even coaching before that. 
wasn't coaching before that. He was not coaching the team before he signed that deal. Well, he was chilling. Well, they had to pull him out the broadcast booth right, where I think he was making something close to that. Yeah. Oh, really? So, that, so that's ah. that's why. He was like, well, if y'all going to pull me out the booth and I got to deal with shit and I, all, I don't have to do that's probably what it is. So, mm-hmm. yeah, long story short, you know, the first uh, email, and all of this stuff is funny because these emails came out because of an investigation with the Washington football team. Everything wrong. <laughs> that nigga Bruce Allen name always in it, dog. But, yeah, so all these but emails was to Bruce Allen, That's you know what I'm saying? Because uh, Daniel Snyder was actually using these emails to blackmail Bruce Allen, mm. so to speak. So, you know, because Bruce really? Allen was trying to st- sue him for firing him, whatever the case may be. Oh so God. all of this shit, stem- so the NFL was um, investigating these emails, whatever the case. So it came out that John Gruden... <laughs> One of the things he said about uh, the NFL players uh, uh, rep was uh, the president. Uh, is he the president? or Demore Smith. Demore Smith. Shout out to Demore Smith. What's up, bro? He's a D.C. guy, too. NFL PA. NFL Players Association. He's the uh, representative for them. Yeah. Man, this, he said he had tire lips or something like that. He said... <laughs> <laughs> he said he got tire lips. That's comedy. If he was a comedian, he might funny. be all right. But that's not that wasn't funny though. Oh, he was a comedian. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you a picture of him. Oh, I mean, it's almost <laughs> Michelin. Yeah, Michelin. He said he got lips like the his lips are like the Michelin, Michelin Man or something like that. Yeah. He said something to that which was actually, what? Which was actually funny. So I'm glad we're going down this road. So go ahead, continue to tell the story. I'm so sure yeah, he's yeah. not a comedian. That's the key. Right. They're getting mad at a comedian for being a comedian. This is the boy Smith. And right this here. dude right here. He <laughs> <laughs> said that joke to me. And they got him with the face to the Lord. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so yeah, they said that. He said that about him. That was just. That, so that tweet came out, well, not the tweet, but, you know, email. that. I don't think that's why that, he got That fired. email came out, or well, that le- email leak came out, like, last, uh, like, I want to say, like. Oh, you have a picture with him. Mm-hmm. The week, the week of his football game. So, of course, you that made, that, that main that made, that uh, made mainstream media, whatever the case. But he oh. still got the coach. So Let me bad. see that jump. He got the coach the game still, like. Stephen A. Smith is on record saying, no, he should not resign. He should not be fired. You know what That I'm wasn't what took the cake, though. No, no well, that's well, not. So, I'm, I'm leading up to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so Stephen A. Smith it. is like, I mean, because Stephen A. Smith is the guy who um, everybody's black everybody black. listens to. You know what I'm saying? He's, so he, he's the talking head. Yeah. Oh, I've seen this before. You know yeah. what's wild? I thought this was like your uncle or your cousin or something. No, that's Demore Smith. Yeah, this so, nigga looked like he could be your uncle. He, he yeah. will, yeah. He's from Southeast, too. Man. Man. So, long story short, I want to say after the game, that Monday after, it came out that he called. There were more emails. Yeah, there were more emails. And yeah. it came out that he called <coughs> the NFL commissioner. And these was, these emails was from years ago, mind yeah, you. 2011, starting from yeah, 2011 to, 2017, to 2018. 17, whatever, yeah. That he called the NFL commissioner a faggot. Called him a faggot. Who don't know shit about football or something like Anti-football that. Anti-football. Anti- yeah. Anti-football pu- pu- pussy. Yes. Yeah, they're misogynistic, know. whatever. Yeah. So as soon as that it. shit come out, I'm like, damn, what Dave Chappelle said is about to happen. Yep. Yep. But not only that, you, I don't know if you remember 2014, mm-hmm. there was a, a player in college who uh, came out as gay, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, one of the coaches from the Rams drafted him. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, he never actually made it onto an NFL roster, but it was the idea that okay, maybe the NFL is being progressive, right? Mm-hmm. Man, he criticized that dude in that email saying, man, Jeff Fisher shouldn't have, shouldn't be hiring faggots. Shouldn't be drafting oh, faggots. Right? Yeah, he definitely oh, yeah. did. That so was one of the emails too. He, he got a team, he, got a, he, he had a player on his team. So the first, like, it's ironic, the first player to ever come out plays for his team. Wow. So yeah. it's, it's you know. So it's, he probably up in that joint like. He, he Making a chucky face. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like your, uh. Like your motherfucking uh, teammate on the game. Right, like. <laughs> right. But. Let's but, go there and put like some real men, not some faggots. <laughs> but, oh, I'm sorry. I mean. But, I didn't mean to say that. I mean. <laughs> but. <laughs> Sissies. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kiara, it wasn't just. It wasn't just the comments about black people. Remember when they were doing the kneeling? It was cool. Well, one of the dudes who kneeled said he said he should be fired. 
Wow. Um, when they, 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 they hired uh, female refs three years ago, first female ref, he said they don't belong. They, we, he doesn't. So he's Damn, he, he's done for. So he don't. I mean, literally Bruce, every group. As he sent in these emails, Bruce he's Allen. So uh, so literally every group he offended. Justin's point and a lot of other people's point is. It first came out that he offended a black man. And that wasn't enough. And that wasn't enough oh, okay. to fire him. Right. And that was the whole thing behind Dave Chappelle's special. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it was. That's what I thought was brilliant about how he did it all. And then it just happened something. right after that special. Literally just happened right after yeah, that. Yeah, it sure did. Yeah, he could have wrote that himself. That's funny. Yeah. So, uh, so. This is what I like about sports, the drama. I really oh, don't yeah. care about the game. I got you. I got but you. I can well, get, a lot of, a lot I of get into the off-field oh, yeah. drama. There's a lot that of drama. Good, like, I'm here for this. That was a good story. <laughs> <laughs> so, Who gives a shit how many yards? <laughs> so, so, can I, so can I, I'm going to say something that I might <laughs> But what's so funny is Steve, <laughs> Stephen A. Smith, I'm going to let you go too. Mm-hmm. Stephen A. Smith was like so adamant, like, when the first thing came out about the black people, mm-hmm. he was like, nah, he shouldn't step down. He shouldn't be fired. You know what I'm saying? This, that, and the other. He was real, like, supportive. Oh, and then I didn't when know the, that. When of the, course. When the, That's when the about faggot right. stuff came out, oh, he no, needs to this go. is preposterous. He needs to get out of here. He offended everybody, and this is it for him. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what, man? He does a, a fantastic job of stroking his boss's ego. Well, the, the white man is his boss? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. That's what he does. Because honestly, I don't believe that he believes the stuff that comes out of his mouth. Mm-mm. I just think he like, man, this is what get me paid. I have to, well, absolutely. He's a character. Hey, did you see the meme, though, about, uh, about uh, what's his name, Antonio Brown? They was like, dog, Antonio Brown is legit right, yo. He was like, he wasn't, Ben Roethlisberger's right, trash. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ju- uh, ben Roethlisberger. Ju- Juju Smith, some it's garbage. It's Boo Boo Smith. He said J- uh, John Gruden is a racist. He didn't say John Gruden. He said I mean, Mike Mayock. No, he said John Gruden, too. He did say John Gruden? Yeah, yeah. Okay. To your point about Dave Chappelle, um, I just I saw a meme that said, you know, when he was doing skits and jokes about black people, when he did the blind, you know, racist, and when he did the little crackhead mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> Crack? Skits and, crack. and when he did the slave, <laughs> the little lynching skit, mm-hmm. nobody complained about that. Like no, well, you it's know. probably because he was black, and I guess they felt like it was appropriate for him and his. He, role, he can right? do that. He could do it. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a contrarian here, guys. All right, All go right. for it. And I'm not doing it to be one, but, you but be I kind of agree with. I don't think that the comments about Demore Smith. Should have been enough to get him fired. Honestly, they weren't. It, it, it's inappropriate. Yeah. If, I, if, I, if I'm if I'm keeping, but it he didn't. It wasn't right. enough there to be like, oh, he's a racist. Clearly, it points a certain direction. Yeah, but and, and I he, could he make made, a I could make a blanket statement he and made be a like, joke. oh, white babies are ugly. He made a Does joke. that mean that I'm racist? No, but he didn't even say that. He literally made a joke about somebody, that one person in particular. Yeah, that one person in particular, and because yeah. he was black and he's white. Yeah. It, 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 fine. He maybe he's a racist. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, it's possible. It's, it's actually very a, possible. He's, he's, he's definitely a a bigot. It wasn't yeah, enough. They, uh, I was just about to say there wasn't misogynist. enough there for me to say he's a racist. But it he is everything like else, though. Yeah. He is everything else. And this, and you know, man, I don't know because she had a good chuckle behind that joint, right? Because it was funny. That was the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That that's why I'm pretty sure it was intended to be funny. But this is what I'm saying. When you got Bruce Allen was probably like, <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see Bruce Allen. So it's funny. <laughs> so, was, it's, so it's interesting because I feel like that was he, funny coming funny. from that realm or that lifestyle. It's hard to be a racist. Mm-hmm. I feel like from up top is easy. I feel like within is hard. As a coach? Most coaches have been players. Okay. So I'm saying they're sharing locker rooms with these people. They they're sh- they have they have legit relationships with and we know 70, 60% of the players in the NFL are African American. So I disagree and here's why. I still okay. think that either way, even though they are in the trenches with these bro- guys. It's a brotherhood. It's a brotherhood. It's not. It's a fraternity. It's a, okay. it's a father-sonhood. So they're still looking down on these guys. 
which is why they always they go after the guys that don't have fathers. If you got a father that's in your life, they don't want you in their in their program. That's most cases, that's, 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 that's not true though. And from college, where do you go? Go to the, might go. To well, that's not true. Like some of the most famous people, they're for, uh, black athletes. Most of them, their fathers are literally uh, from my but, even Patrick Mahomes, the popular ones. But we're not. We're talking about the uh, entire spread. Them. Most, most, of the the pop- most of the popular ones. ones. Most of the popular ones. Their but fathers are lifted up. Patrick Mahomes and his, Patrick Mahomes' father is that way. And Patrick Mahomes, what? You know, he, uh, like, keep going. He was an athlete. Oh, what are you talking about? Deion Sanders? Uh, oh, how far father. are you going to go back? I don't remember his father. Who else? His son. No, I'm saying uh, Deion, Deion oh, Sanders. Deion Sanders, Sanders, Sanders is, a, is a great man. Uh, but Patrick, I can but tell. Patrick Mahomes is the same thing, even with Russell Wilson, his parents. Uh, Dak oh, Prescott yeah, and his parents. All right, what about some black parents? Dak, Dak Prescott's not black? No, I'm talking black about and mother and father. What you mean? Do they go after the guys that have That's a black the mother and the black father's not around. That's what the recruiters go after. But, that, the, but they want the, they recruit for the coaches because the coaches want to come in and be your father figure. A, a father figure. It's That's harder for, the, be, for me to be your father well, if you already about, got one. Well, we're talking about college. In the field, they just go off of talent. They don't care about all of that That's shit. true, but... These right, guys, they yeah. already coming in with a certain mindset, that college mindset. So it's like it's easier for the NFL coach. It's like all I got to deal with is you already been trained. Mm-hmm. So now all I got to deal with is your talent. Okay. Right. But I can still reach reach down to you. That's the point I'm making. They Smart. still down. They, they they still talk down good, to these good guys. Good coaches can reach down to you. Definitely. Yeah. But how many good coaches are there? You know what I'm saying? John Gruden was one of them. John Groom was a good coach. Was he? he? Yeah, he's yeah he's a. You, ter- he coached you? Nah, but you know, nah, just, nah, John Groom was a good coach. John Groom was a good Except coach. For the Raiders, but he was just he's he had yeah. Success with the Raiders the first time he was. He took him to the Super Bowl. He's just a um a bigot. <laughs> Is he though? No, yeah, I can't say I can't necessarily say he's a racist, but he but based on those emails, dog, he just on, don't bro. seem like he fooled with the L- LGBTQ plus community. Man, he just probably a regular dude, regular man. dude that's in the locker room, traditional white guys, yeah. especially an athlete, and most of these traditional white guys like Our bigots. Ah, they bigots though. I wouldn't even say white guys. I would say I was. Or say are they just used to the way things were? Yeah, you got to think about how bigots today. Well, you got to think about how jocks were today. Think about how jocks okay, are touche, all the touche. movies, right? Jocks, no, yeah. the jocks and all the movies make fun of people who are different or lesser yeah, or lower. Yeah. Than yep. Yeah. So that that's literally the culture that he's being pulled from. Okay, right? yeah. Because so he's, he's an a athlete. bigot. So I mean, it's, I, it's not even necessarily today. has to be a race thing. It's yeah. literally just and and probably eighty percent of the players probably agree with him. But they won't get caught sending emails about no, it. No, and they know better now. Well, they're younger now, too, because so they, they might not. They might be like, ah, that's fucked up, but they know the culture. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm going to move us along. Okay. okay. Right, um, so, you know, R. Kelly was found guilty Oof. for sex trafficking. He yeah. faces 20, How is he the only one guilty, though? 20 years in prison. Well, <laughs> I heard that he was snitching, but that's not my point of bringing this up. Okay. D.L. Hughley uh, was interviewed... And he was asked, would you still listen to MJ or R. Kelly's music Where, knowing... What about, what about MJ? MJ? Hold on. What, oh, 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 oh. MJ well, was, I don't MJ know. was found guilty of something? Yeah. I guess, you know, oh. he was accused of... He wasn't found guilty yeah. of nothing. So they said knowing what they did to kids. Uh, and no, we, did what did we don't know what he did. Wait a minute, well, man. MJ, do, you what? cannot throw R. Kelly and Michael Jackson... D.L. Hughley did. That's something about D.L. Hughley. I mean, I don't rock with him like that. No, no, no. Not even because of this before this. He was asked... Okay. Okay. His answer was... And this is alleged... You know, because I'm getting this off of social media. But right. it says, uh, he, allegedly, he replied, yes. D.O. then said, just like we still sing the national anthem, knowing what America did. Um, I mean, mm. Which, I mean, I was thinking about that. And I literally, just this week, heard kids. Uh, they were behind me, but they were singing... I believe I can fly. Right. And, and That's a great song. A great song. I believe they right. were singing that, and they sounded so you know harmonious, kid, little angelic angel voices. Right, right, right. And I'm like, well, shoot, do I turn around and do? <laughs> so wow, like, do do I did. Hey, I didn't. he fucks little kids. <laughs> what? Pied <laughs> Piper. Pied like Piper. You're falling for it. Don't fall for it. 
I didn't address it. I did the. I let them enjoy that moment. And what would but, you have said if you just But I was thinking. Up? I mean, I wouldn't know what to say. That's, that's why I'm like. Hey, you guys. But you it caught. It made me stop in my tracks. Hearing little kids sing, I believe. Mm. You know, That's not that bad. I can see they were singing like age ain't nothing but oh, nothing oh, but. Yeah. 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 Seems like you're ready or something yeah, like that. Like Does it, it now? It, I, mean, <laughs> I was singing those types of songs back when I was. Oh, man. I was too. I was too. I got no the fuck I was singing. No, I was singing no, no, but I knew it, I knew it sounded. I want it. I like Jeeps. Like yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. I want to pump it. I like Jeeps too. <laughs> I like Jeeps too. I like Jeeps too. I like Jeeps when I grow up. I like pump music too. Right. Right. <laughs> that's so funny, that's dog. Terrible. That I want to wax my car when I get older as well. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna my, do. I watch my dad wax the car. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, that's that's true. I, I so to DL Hughley's point, I just feel like y'all should just let people do what they want to do, man. Uh, if you somebody listen to it, cool. Just oh, and if oh, you don't, I thought you said my doors. Nah. <laughs> so like, would you minute, let man. your kids listen to? Because your kids are a little older. Would you let them listen to? R. Kelly in this day and age. It would be kind of odd if mine requested it because. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who he is. I'm gonna listen to I Believe I Can Fly. I'm just about to say, yeah, what no, parent no. really. It's not like this is Earth, Wind, and Fire here, okay? Right. Yeah. Think about the music that R. Kelly made. He didn't make it for children and parents to listen to. Sexual in the car. stuff, man. Yeah. There's a lot of sexual stuff. There's a lot of sexual things going on. So it's even, even the before the accusations, that, st- that song still leaves parent and children. In the child with a lot of questions to be asked and a lot of things to be explained. Right. Yeah. No. So, so they no. can listen to they can so step, step, they can side to side. They can do that. You know yeah. what I mean? They can do something like that. Do I believe I can fly? What a little bad man's job. Oh, oh, I'm oh. Got them shit. Oh, oh, you know, oh I made them oh. sing that every now and then. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm the greatest. I'm yeah. the greatest. World greatest. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 I'm yeah, that yeah, yeah. Than the hope yeah. When my back's so against the road. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of got some joints. They do, though. Yeah, they, they can listen to them little innocent jumps, but yeah. they can't listen to the. All oh, the rest of that stuff. They can't I, listen to you remind me of my Jeep. <laughs> man, I don't even. I I be kind of conflicted when I hear it myself sometimes. I know. I be like, damn. Well, I don't That's hear how I feel it about like Frank Ocean. I will say, I will say, his music. I will say when I sing to? it, right. I sing it. I'll, I'll be singing, be singing as loud as I used to. I'll be listening to Frank Ocean, right, and then I'll be like, "Who was wonder what that line right there? Who was that about? What was this for?" <laughs> See, I just want to enjoy my music. If I gotta do all that when yeah. I listen to it, then I mean, but that's the same way with Luther Vandross too. You know what I'm saying? I never. He really, wasn't accused I wasn't. of making people. No, but, but all signs kind of pointed to it though. Pointed to him abusing kids. No, no. pointed to him singing about. You can't when you're late to really? molest her to homosexuality. No, we can't draw that to no, 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 no. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm Frank, Frank Ocean. Ocean. What's yeah. the Frank Ocean line? Because he's gay. Oh. So, so you see what they did. Oh, you so yeah, you, did. Have, you jumped from. I'm saying like, personally, it's like, man, who is this? Who is this? I mean, pedophilia. Yeah, to yeah, that's not, that's not. No, no, same. we're not comparing them to R. Kelly. We no, just no, talking no, about no, no. Uh, the lyrics. The, things, the lyrics. See, he listening saying. to the music. Be like, okay. Hold up, man. I agree. Who was that for? I'm, yeah. Who was that for? Yeah. Is it a, basically you are still this thing on the lines? Is this music a, is it even appropriate for me? Should I be singing this? Yeah. Yeah. Should right. I be listening? I mean, based on is this for my know. spirit? Right. Well, right. Do you feel the same way when you listen to uh, Tyler Creator? Tyler the same kid. difference. Same. What's all Depending on what he says. Yeah. That nigga gay? Is he gay? Oh, I, don't I don't know the nigga, so. Absolutely. He got some good music. Allegedly. He's probably bisexual or something. He got some good music, which is still, don't try to, he likes his music. It's, just, certain, it's just certain lines. No, I'm just saying. That's what I, I Everybody did. knows. Man, that nigga be bisexual. I watch him do a whole freestyle. I don't know what these people do. Yeah. I know what I do. I don't know what's going on over there. Yeah. I don't, like I said, I can't make sense of what they got going on. It doesn't make sense I watched him do a whole freestyle about having sex with, with a man. Flat, for real? Flat. And it... Yeah, not like only did it make me though. uncomfortable, it sounded trolling. good. So trolling. I didn't know I didn't know how to feel. <laughs> he was that I think he was trolling. Flex, man. He was yeah. trolling. Man. Did it no, get I don't know. I don't think he, he was trolling. Flirting. I think he was flirting. Because Funk Master Flex a little funny style too. I, I think he was who, flirting. Who was Funk I didn't know. Big dude. You know Funk Master Flex. Oh, I do know Funk Master Flex, yeah. The bomb on there. You know what I mean? What's going down? Probably like sixty seven years old. 
<laughs> yeah, that's he was DJ Khaled before DJ Khaled. He was, yeah, but not as but he didn't take it to the DJ Khaled. DJ, yeah. oh, so it I wasn't as annoying. Speaking of trolls, Uh-oh. our number one troll. No, nah, he not. He not Ooh. our number one troll. Ooh, or well, he doesn't troll me at all. But I, he's trolling people. Oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, yeah. You said my day no more. Yeah, he. Oh, we talked about this. Oh, you did? He we said, did. What? We talked about this on the last episode. Wait, oh, oh, what was we talking about? Uh, little Nas, Nas X. X. Uh, see, I wasn't we ain't talking about it. I that. didn't see it. Okay, so we won't talk we about it. We ain't talking about him. <laughs> He's definitely the number one troll. He is the number That's one troll. That's exactly what we established. That's what we, exactly what we said, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me pivot. Speaking of kids. Pivot. Um, Have y'all seen the Squid Game, John? Oh, yeah. Wait. Have y'all watched that, John? I Wait. know that I played Red Light, like, Green Light. Like oh, right. <laughs> you, you ain't seen that, John? I've seen the first three episodes. Yeah, I oh, can't you ain't seen nothing oh. yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. You seen yeah, the whole joint? Yeah, we binge watched it. Hell, yeah. I just don't want to talk about this joint, man. We just, we just finished watching that joint earlier this morning. I, I told you to watch it. You did. I told you he didn't beat me. Yep. He didn't lock That's because you be fucking playing video games. That's exactly <laughs> what I did. Mean. That's exactly what I did. You be yeah. talking to your racist friends. Yeah. 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 If you get in the right lane, you'll go fast. I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man. That's, a, no, that's exactly why. That I, wonder, exactly I wonder if that racist guy seen the joke, man. It's weird. I wonder if he did too. He's, that yeah. show is crazy. It's a good show. It's a good show. Yeah, and yeah, I guess I heard that the creator is trying to get that show on for like ten years. Yeah, I heard he went through a lot of shit. Netflix is the perfect American. format, dog. Yeah, nice Netflix. Netflix is type of stuff. Yo, that's next level. Man, you gotta finish that drug. Cause I, mean, I want to talk, talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. I feel like there's show. a message behind that drug. Oh, it's, I can see that. Oh yeah. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet right. though. But I can. See you don't know what happens. No, I don't. I that don't. Weird though, yo. Yeah. It, it, man, yeah, we yeah. can't talk about the joint, no, though. No, please. No, no, we can't no, talk no, about no, the no, joint because no, it's going to ruin it for him. Him on. Don't ruin it for me, dog. Please. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm just saying, man. Like, that shit crazy, yo. Isn't it, though? Especially the twist. Because the twist is something that you would You know who called me? Tiffany called the joint, though. No, so let me. Yes. So let me. And I was like, man, no, that's so dumb. In my head, I was like, no, it's not that. I just canceled it immediately. Now I know to look forward to it. I mean, all no. shows got a twist. Oh, you know it's going to be a twist. Too. All shows got a twist. I get it. All good, I'm, I'm going to say this. I think twist. the show is predictable. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, it's yeah. very predictable. Okay, well, in which case then I may not be. I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Normally, if it's something predictable, I'd be up there, oh, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. I was up there, doing like, I was, I got lost in the show. For real, for real. Personally. Yeah, yeah, me too. That's I, how yeah, I got caught no, up. No, no, no. Not predictable in the story and what happens. It's kind of... I'm talking about predictable as far as you know who's going to live. Oh, yeah. That, that, that was predictable because I knew all the people. Oh, that, wait a minute now. Every show, all the every people that were focusing that. on. Yeah. They were most shows. Know, most shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, they got to give you something to hold yeah, on to. Yeah. yeah. To attach yourself to. Yeah. That's why I think they do that. Yeah. Y'all, did y'all hear about that um, shooting in Texas? The black kid? No. Nah. He brought a gun to school and um, shot... Whoa, you didn't hear about this? It was like national news. It was a black kid. I might have heard. So, who, uh, um, already. What was his name? Uh, Timothy Simpkins. Oh, man. That's a funny name. It's your cousin. Simpkins. It only because we did it. You ain't my cousin. Yeah. <laughs> right. Look. No, you saw, look, I saw a look at him. Simpkins, Simpkins, huh? Simpkins, yeah. Ooh. He's a black kid who shot multiple people um, uh, who uh, at his high school. Um, he they where's the high school at? Timberview High School in yes. Texas, mm-hmm. and they um he made it out alive. One of the per, uh one student is still in the hospital in the hospital in a medically induced coma. Damn, he killed um, some other kids. Nobody died. I don't think. Oh. I think they were all just shot. Right. Many of the victims. What kind of gun did he have? They his family came out to the media. And claimed that he was a bull. He was being bullied. So, so he just went in there and shot up. The I think he went he after the, the, bullies. the people who were bullying him. Um, but it's still just heart wrenching. All these videos of Why he um, to you know just the sheer panic. Because that's where the bullies are when he had the gun. <laughs> but Don't nobody walk home no more. Catch the bus. What you mean? Why you go to school? If I had an issue with some bullies. 
nine times out of ten, when we go to school together, I can find out where you live, live where you yeah. be at, something. That's too much work. I is it? Right it's there. the social. I'm not gonna brother. go to school and put everybody else there. I don't, I don't have an it's issue an with that risk. I'm gonna run down on y'all one by one. I, I so his that's what family at his, school though. He he. Not only was he in the news for that, but he's charged with three counts of assault with a deadly weapon. Um, he has a seventy-five thousand dollar bond. He's eighteen years old, and Ooh, but he he eighteen and he getting bullied. But his what the hell? What you, you can get bullied? Did you say these coaches go after boys with no dad? At eighteen, like, he's a Pierce though. He's talking about Pierce. Yeah, like yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah, who yeah. else is his age in this school that's bullying him? So the he's po- probably getting bullied by people younger than him. So the point is, well, yeah, that's a good point. That's why he's getting bullied. Obviously, if he's eighteen and he's still getting bullied, obviously he's a he's obviously he's an easy target. Jesus. Does he have a so something going they, on? With? His family, uh, well, I don't know if they threw him a party. I'm almost, I almost don't want to say that. But yeah. there's a picture floating around that says that he received a welcome home party, and it oh, looks like, yeah, he's trying to support him because they know he off now. He off. He, he like man, this dude that went up in here and shot up a school. We gotta put some right. loving arms around yeah. him. Shoot up the school. Dude. They look Shoot like they having people. a good old time in this picture. And oh, so that people have a problem with it? Yeah, so there were uh, some. They yeah. may have suggested it. <laughs> Who knows? Take get the gun off the wall, Billy, and go on in there. I'll tell you what, black. at least they didn't shoot him. Billy if you're be a black. child, hey, and I'm he surprised black. he got he out of that black. shit. I'm surprised he got yeah, out yeah, of that yeah. situation alive. That part, in down Texas. there, especially yeah, they down be sounding there. like that. Black people be sounding like that down no, there. Go get the gun. Nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, be, they be sounding like that down there. Nah. Of, so, uh, would you support your kid, or would you like really be popping them? I think that's a second him? move, honestly. What I the wouldn't support thing? the way he did that. I could see if you like, man. I got an issue with these I five guys, ass, and, and I'm gonna handle it with these he five guys. Me, man. And that's what I would be more concerned with. Yeah, like, man, if you go and sit your ass up in jail, point, like, you, you sit your ass up in jail. You feel like you ready to go shoot up a school? Come on, man. What is you? What are you doing? What you doing, dog? What, I ain't barely on your mind. You ain't about to put me in debt. Get your ass out. Man, you got to have conflict nah, resolution nigga. out here, man. You got to have what? Conflict resolution yeah, out here, That's man. not something that's taught. That's something that has to be taught so to your pro- child. So is, that if they have a conflict and if they try to resolve it and it doesn't get resolved, then you take it to your parents and, you know, get them involved or whatever the case may be. Wait. But don't go out here and take a gun and, and be like, I'm going to handle this shit myself. Yeah, How that's do you crazy. get access to a gun? Because you, you, Texas. Yeah. Say Speaking that. of uh, gun violence, um, Nike executive admits to murder when he was in a gang whoa. as a teen. Whoa, this dude, on. Larry Miller, uh, was hold a on. former NBA executive as well, but now he's currently a high up executive with the Jordan brand for Nike. Why didn't he just be quiet? Well, he served his time in prison already. For oh, that. okay. So, you know he's so it wasn't that he so came he, out he, he about something that come out. This is an ex-con. Yeah, yeah, with an executive he, he position makes millions, in He makes millions a year. Ooh, Black dude, too. What's wrong with that? No. That's, that's so weird. He, so oh, what that's he wanted to do was, it is. He we need to celebrate him. <laughs> he need, he didn't turn his life around? He, what he wanted to do was he wanted to come out with this before it was released in the book. But uh, the situation was, you know, it was a retaliation for the murder of one of his friends. Obviously, that's yada yada yada. Yeah. Or one of his gang He's members. He's putting in work. So he <laughs> and he said, but the dude was innocent. The dude didn't have nothing to do with it. And he said he uh, still think about that shit to this day. You know what I'm saying? But, but he, he served he wanted, time for it though. Yeah, he served time, but he and he also wanted to, you know, put it in the book Get off his to chest. let people know that hey, this you, know, is you can't be rehabilitated. You can turn your life around. Turn your life around once yeah. you come out of prison or whatever yeah. the case may be. And you know, how old was great. he when he when he, he was did a teenager that? when he did it? You know, oh, he was yeah. like well, see, 13, 14, some shit like that. That's another thing that I think a lot of teenagers need to understand that they don't know everything when you're that age. Yeah, but they, I think they feel like they do because they yeah. you're coming from that age. He was 16 age. when he did it. Oh, yeah. Um, and now he's 72. You know what I'm saying? He's 72 now. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and let that man Oh, know. wait a minute. Yeah, he's trying to die with a clear crime. Yeah, let that I'm man I'm not man. for yeah. that. Why? 
We the had, hell? Why, what type we, of em, em, um, empathy? I could see if he got away with it Listen, and he, he came out now. Right, that's what no, he No, he wasn't. He went that's to what, jail. That's what he went did. to jail. He's in his yeah. 70s now. He's about to kick the bucket. Okay. And okay. he is. Yeah, he but what's wrong with that? Clearing your content before you go. Yes. I think that Jeez, uh, I think he, you are I think brutal. the reason he's doing it now is for his own selfish reasons. I don't think but nobody he's doing does anything it for. To, that's, that's what everybody that does. Most does he's not doing it to sincerely that. teach uh, prisoners that uh, hey, you, you can can't change say your that. lives or you, you can't can say that. He should have been doing that all along. Maybe it took seventy-two years. Well, well, it wasn't 72, years. 72, Doubt 16. 16. Doubt right. it. Right. 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 Doubt it. I see what you're saying, though. I see yeah. what you're saying. Nah, but, what no. has he been doing all this time? Yeah. I'd no. like to know that. I'm not judging Wait, that, he, man. I'm not, I'm even, not going there. I'm not even, I'm but I'm just I'm saying. That's there. a valid point. But Thank you. Been, he hasn't been forthcoming about it at all. Like, even Michael Jordan didn't know. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, he had to, like, come out and tell Michael Jordan and shit. Well, he was probably worried, like, man, I wouldn't be able to. He didn't put sustain on, a living uh, out here. I can't remember if he said he put it so on his resume or not know. his resume, but his job applications. Or yeah, that's not so, that's to. like a shameful thing. Yeah, but also family secret. The other side thing. of the coin is he could be releasing it to help sell his book too. Probably yeah. coming up. He said he want to get Damn. in front of it. Either way, it's so. He's saying he said he want to get. In I'm front just of saying it. she had a valid point. Oh, that's all I'm saying. He said. With <laughs> that point right there, yeah, he said he want to get in front of it so that you know. Man, the people are like get in front of what? The book get this that book. I put out. Yeah. <laughs> they don't even know who this guy right. was. Right. Why? Man, we talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, I hope we ain't selling no books for that man. Capitalism. Speaking of uh, sports, because you know Michael Jordan, Kyrie Irving has just oh, been here banned we go. Here we go. from the Brooklyn Nets. With this dude isn't that Jay Z's uh, team? Yeah. No, he sold his shit. Yeah, he sold oh, he did? Shit. He was like, I'm he getting out of this shit. shit. He was just in that junk so they could get the bid to build a stadium. Brooklyn, man. yeah. Get the get the people around Brooklyn involved yeah. and say, yeah, um, we good with it. Yeah. And screw them all. Yeah. Because now they yeah. all got to pay for it. And it's in the middle of their whole little situation. Yeah. Um, they so homes stupid. Not they down, whatever. Oh, yeah. Projects was Gentrified and all of that. Oh. Uh, they, 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 people came to Ford. Their hero was like, it's good, y'all. They was like, yeah, this is good. And the hero was like, all right, peace. Uh, <laughs> I'm going back to and the And that's why you should never sold, worship anybody. He sold his share. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so, you know, of course, Kyrie is uh, is one of the few unvaccinated NBA players. In New York and California, they both have laws where um, you can't play. If you don't have a jab. If you don't have a jab. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I hope he holds out. But what's weird is Bradley Bill got to play out there. He unvaccinated. Visitors. Visitors can play that. Visitors can but play. But not if you play, uh, if you employ Isn't that weird? The, because you're employed by that state. Yeah. So, yeah. It's so weird. Bill is not employed by the state. So, yeah, you know. Kyrie so, is employed but by Ben Simmons is he also employed is by the not state? vaccinated. He's employed oh. by. Who's, who's it? Ben Simmons not even? Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't know that. And we didn't find that out until he had to pass his physical once he came back. Mm. He probably would have blended in with everybody else. So, the that, store, so right? that takes California and New York off of his trade list right there. Nah, it's not all of California, is it, though? I thought it was just the San Francisco area where it's a mandate. They pushing. Oh, know. I don't know. Yeah, so like, I know Andrew Williams couldn't pay at all. That's no. Golden State. That's up in the, that oh, Bay Area, that whole Bay he Area. Get He's paid. not getting paid. And then they, the Nets withdrew their $200 million extension. So, so hold on. There's a so, story to this. There were workarounds for Kyrie Irving to be able to play. And and still be unvaccinated. That was the discussion. I think at some point they were like, "Nah, screw that." Yeah. The Nets was like, screw "They that. yeah." Halfway through that being the thing, they changed their mind. I was like, "No, yeah, we're not doing." We're tired this. of dealing with this. We don't like we no <laughs> we no we're gonna force just like they have been doing with all the mandates and stuff. So this, who uh, what other star players do they have? They got, oh, they Kevin, got Durant Kevin Durant, and James Harden. 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 They got That's some other why cats up doing there too. That. Well, they're trying to get somebody else. The GM came out today and said he expect Kyrie's agent to request a trade or whatever. So, but Kyrie has been put through that organization through a lot of stuff too. Well, he yeah. puts every organization. It seems through. like they, yeah. if they wanted yeah. him, they would have made him right. work around. Yeah. So of course, um, you know, all the talking pundits on TV, for the most part, like the major ones, Jay uh, Jay Williams has supported them. You know what I'm saying? Saying that hey, I've been vaccinated, but 
I think that he should be able to stand up for what he believes. in. Stand up for what he believes in. Like, he didn't, like, he's not affecting anybody else. Right. Now, yes, the team aspect. So, Stephen A. does have a, Stephen A. does have a point. The, not, but the thing is, his point is so. It's his point is here, whereas the point Kyrie trying to make is here, oh, yeah. and essentially, it's, it's his commitment to the team. And, but Kyrie, that's what Stephen, that's point what Stephen is. and 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 yeah. as an analyst who analyzes sports, and that's all you can do. Right. Fine, focus on that. Kyrie but Kyrie has made years ago Boy, has made it clear that basketball is not his number one priority. It's not. But it's well, the he's John more so looking at that. it from a, you know, he's he's looking at it from a health standpoint. He but like, also, man, Kyrie? Yeah. But Kyrie is. I, I think, that, so So people have been getting backlash for saying, because uh, some people be like, oh, man, he like he's doing what Kaepernick did. And people are like, no, no, he's not. No, he's not. This yeah. ain't nothing to do with Kaepernick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but in that. a sense, it really is because you can't tell him he got to do something to his body medically. Or, and, or, or I can't, can't work. work. You know what I'm saying? Or I can't work. Like and and this wasn't a part of the original and, contract that I signed. <laughs> right. This wasn't, so now, right now, you're forcing me to do this, and and that's what I'm saying. Stephen A's problem should be with, I guess, the rules that are made. It, it, should. Should. it, is, it almost seems like he should be wanna, able to sue. If he want to continue little. stroking the ego of those that pay him. Yep. He's yeah. going to continue. I'm just saying, it seems like if that wasn't a part, to your point about the contract, mm-hmm. if that wasn't a part of the original contract, he may have grounds for a lawsuit. He does. He, I think most people do, but they can't do that now because the government is doing this. this. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, when your, your, your leader comes in and is right. like, hey, this everybody. mandate is going down. Everybody. Everybody gets shook. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? All companies are getting shook. Yeah. Uh, and ESPN... They they want to cover that side, but they don't want to cover um, the one this one NBA player who whose season or career might be over because he suffered blood clots after receiving the PMP. Uh, which is one of the major uh, side his effects. His name is of Brandon injury. Goodwin, and he said that the Hawks told him not to say nothing about it. You know, and I was just getting ready to say, why isn't mm, the NBA wow. or at least the NBA Players Association supporting Kyrie in this? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, oh, we're, I, we, I was just talking about that with somebody else. There is going to be some some stuff with him and Ben Simmons. There's going to be some stuff coming down with with the players' association and the collective bargaining agreement when that comes back up to. And you know what else is weird? The judge just ruled in New York that. Um, oh yeah. You could have they it's for exemptions. Yeah, yeah it, the they have exemptions. to accept his exemptions. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to figure out how come mm-hmm. Kyrie. Can't have a religious or a medical exemption. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he can. Years. Maybe they're working around it. I just think they want to make it a story. Yeah. Before. Mm-hmm. They're trying to make before. it a story. I think they. I think really the Nets want to get him up out of there. Yeah. I at think this that, point. That's yeah. what it sounds I think like. This yeah. is yeah. The, he, he took off. She don't even follow sports. Yeah. And she he took tell. off for a whole year. Yeah. Not, not a whole year, but he but took damn off. Then, so of what you don't know, majority of the season, had issues with Kyrie since yeah. he's been there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, I think didn't have that piece, but even without it, just oh yeah, last year if he's the star, you know. Last year they had um, to some road games and he was supposed to go, but of course they was playing in like the or well, they had the, the mandates because they were because it was COVID, mm-hmm. and he took off. Yeah, for a, for, for me, like for a medical, month. he said for over for medical, personal reasons. Personal reasons. Yeah. And they found him at one of his cousin's birthday or sister's birthday parties, unmasked and party. So of course he got fined, mm-hmm. and they made a big deal about that. He doesn't want to, He doesn't want to play basketball, bro. He does. He wants to. He play He does. Basketball. He wants to do it when he wants to do it. All yeah, his on terms. His terms. Yeah. The demanding push and pull mm-hmm. that required is required from an athlete to be a professional athlete. He doesn't want. He just doesn't want to sign up for that. Well, he he don't want to feel like a slave, so to speak. I was gonna say. You I think he saying? got a, 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 a internal struggle, push yeah. and pull yeah. going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he, because he loves. He don't want to. Yeah, you can tell. You can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody that play at that level, he you know, you know he loves to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah But yeah. there's something that's like, man, I can't just I mean, fold to just this. Like, uh, last last year, or not last year, a couple of years ago, when they were in the bubble, and he was like, man, we shouldn't even play. Matter of fact. 
We should, cause yeah. I, it was some type of little stipulation yeah, where he was yeah. like, "Man, we should start our own with Dan we should Lee." Start our own. Yeah. So he's one of them type of dude. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He probably do feel like, "Man, yeah. I'm a slave to this." Yeah. He probably loves the sport, but it's just like it's man, gotta be a. You see uh, the business side of it and all that. He like, man, I ain't even. I don't want to deal with none of that. Yeah, it's gotta be. Um, it, <laughs> it has to. I assume that it weighs on black athletes, um, and and football especially. In basketball, physically, physically, physically and but mentally. mentally, you know, yeah. just the they not normal. Yeah, the owners versus yeah. player thing, even the so fact like the that they, they're called owners. And these owners, for, for the most anyway. part, are, are Caucasian. Yeah, and they make more money. They make so much money. The NFL they pay, is the NFL pay, is way less could, progressive, but they could pay several players hundreds of millions of dollars. And don't. No, they do in the NBA. Yeah. But what kind of money is the owners making off of this but it's shit? All, it's all, but yeah, that's only because it's, it's And what are it's they 12, putting up to do this? Exactly. Like, realistically, nobody's paying to see, hey, this is a beautiful stadium, this and that. Niggas want to see these boys play. Right. And the players know that. And they're not paying to see Mark Cuban or any no, of them. No, they're not paying Yonses. to see none of that. They're going, they paying well, to see the players. That, they're they paying to the see the guys play the game. Money. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. They're the ones yeah. making them the money. Exactly. And the players, that's why they looking at it like, man, I'm a $40 million slave. Yo. Um, <laughs> did you hear about um, Jelani Day? Right. Nah, who was that? He was a, the 25-year-old, yeah, black, the black guy who was missing. Yes. And they kind of overshadowed his story with yes. the white girl. Uh, this was just a couple weeks ago. They mm -hmm. found his... Body missing for his organs in the yeah. Illinois River. Organ harvesting, man. Yeah, he had been he had been missing for a couple weeks, and I guess his his, his family had been trying to get traction to help find him. Yeah. And then in the midst of that, there's a story about a white girl, a white girl that comes out, and his mom was it's like making headlines. So what she did was she hijacked, right? She hijacked that little girl's or that young lady's missing thing and just piggybacked and basically caught the coattail of it like hey what about my son right and i think a week later they ended up finding his with what they well so what i was told was they had already found his remains mm -hmm. like actually they had found his remains weeks before they announced that it was him mm -hmm. they just didn't know oh who it was, who it was. Uh, uh, the body yeah, was, missing, was missing. It was mm -hmm. missing his top and bottom um, teeth. It was a suggested. Laughing. Go ahead. That's just somebody laughing there. Or they may have took it out so that you couldn't identify. Right, because that's it was, what usually what they do. Yeah. It was suggested that his <clears throat> jawbone had been sawed out. Um, oh, the Jesus attorney Christ. said that they could not find a brain. A liver, a spleen. They took his organs. No, no that's organs. different there. A brain. They took his organs. Right. Man, and there's a lot of women that's missing. That and you know they starting to do these uh, surgeries where they doing wound transplants to into the T community. That's yeah. your theory. You know what I'm saying? No, they. Nah, that's a real thing. That's a real no, thing. no, no. I'm just saying. He's, <clears> I'm drawing <throat> a connection between the two. Is what I'm saying. I mean, you can only theorize things because you don't know for sure. Right. You know, so unless it knocks on your front door, hopefully it never does. Right. Right. Oh, man. Speaking of the tea community. So, uh, y'all familiar with the, uh, what's this show called? Uh, it's a teen pregnancy show on MTV. Oh, yeah. Oh, 15 pregnant. 16, 16, whatever it is, right? All right. So, look. 15? They have a, a, a local young lady on the show now local who right local to our region yes uh -huh. she's there she's from I didn't Laurel, know that show's the Laurel Maryland yeah they they follow they get new ones and then they follow the old ones too and they uh -huh. just keep going she's from Laurel wow she's from Laurel Maryland Laurel, right Laurel, Maryland. so check this out her and a girl were high school sweethearts what's happening the girl decides that no her and a girl were high school sweethearts okay. Somewhere after high school, they decided, you know what, we want to have a child together. So they go find a sperm donor to impregnate the girl or what have you, right? Mm -hmm. 18. Mm -hmm. okay. So they, she gets pregnant. The girl that she's in love with or whatever decides to transition into a man. Uh-huh. A transgender man. man. 
Uh-huh. Is that how that works? Or yeah. is she a transgender woman? Transition. Trans man. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So she transitions to a man, but then falls for another girl. So now this <laughs> girl. <laughs> nigga. So now this girl is single mom. a single mom. <laughs> To a child. That ain't none of this. <laughs> what? Get this. But her. get this. But get this. The trans man is like, so when can I see my child? And <laughs> it's like a thing. Like, they in law. You can see, you know, the background. Yeah. You're like, oh, that's I know what it is. You know, you know where all the I'm stuff gonna is. This. I'm going to take this. They away. riding around in law. Two women in the car. I'm arguing like, like a man and a woman who have a child together. The, one, the, the, the trans man is her voice a little bit deeper now. So here's the thing. Here's where I came in. I didn't know that she was a trans. You thought it was a nigga. Man. You thought it was a real dude. I was like, what's wrong with this or a guy? Biological. Oh, what's wrong with this guy? I was I, I was like, man, you but I didn't I wasn't was paying all... attention enough. But I I was like, man, what's up with this guy? I think cat? transgender people are okay with just being deformed versions of what they Really want to look like <laughs> because you're not going to actually be, you, you know get, what I'm saying? That is but once I found out the trans <laughs> thing, I was like, oh, oh. Cool. if I'm an ugly guy, at least I'm a guy, you know what I'm saying? Well, anyway, anyway, go ahead. Okay, man. man. Go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. I'm sorry. It's not a big deal. When I found out it was a trans man, no I was like, it was a joke. oh, this makes yeah. sense because something isn't right with this. Per- yeah, it wasn't it something. But it's so weird because that's why I made the comment I made earlier. It's almost like the the trans man looks like a girl trying to be a man. Trying to be a man. And that's what I be saying. But she's a little farther along because I guess she's She's taken, she's done stuff. So she got like sideburns and a little beard down here. Like the Michael Irvin joint that don't move. She still got breasts. Boobies. You know, trying to do the tie down joint, but it's like, mm-hmm. oh no, you got breast breasts. I can see oh, she you. Got big she probably got a nice joint. If she wanted to be a woman, she it would. would you wouldn't easy. be like, oh, she flat chested. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, it would right. be like, oh, this is a woman. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's just a weird looking situation. So when I was found out she was a trans man, I was like, oh, okay, makes this makes sense. I just thought it was so MTV because it was like, you know how you like you see a fat guy that has breasts. It's like. Oh, he's big. She wasn't that. Right. He, he wasn't big like Hugh So did MTV just not try to smooth it over like it was a real man? Or? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I okay. found all this out from Tiffany. Okay, <laughs> she okay, told me. Okay. She gave I'm me the scoop. I'm surprised y'all are watching such trash. <laughs> man. <laughs> so I'm going to take this word. I don't think y'all. I'm, I'm going to take this. Okay. Laurel's weird. Laurel is Laurel a weird Laurel is place. a weird Part of the county. Dog. I think it's because it's, it's so understand. many different counties right it's there. Tri county. That tri- shit is like the it's New Jersey weird. of Maryland, dog. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> you just insulting everybody. I'm, no, no, no. no, no. I, I, I agree. It is. It's right. a weird right. little right. area. Right. Okay, because New York is like that's the real thing. Like right. New York, yeah. everybody. That's the mecca. Right. And then even on another scale, Philly it's is Philly. is Philly, and it's well respected. New but you Jersey. got this Jersey. little borough yeah. in the middle that's New Jersey, New Jersey and it's like sweet. what like where the fuck am I? Like <sighs> certain parts of New Jersey. Certain parts is like, hold on, dog, like what What's happening here? Yeah, there's not like you got certain guys or certain th- people you go, oh, you are from Brooklyn or yeah. you are from Queens or you're yeah. from Yonkers or oh you from Philly. And this is like there's not really an identity. It's just a mosh pit. And what's her name from New Jersey? That's Laurel. Whitney Houston. That's Laurel, dog. That's, Laurel, that's what I'm saying. That's Laurel. That's all. That's the I only point the I was trying way. to make. Now that I'm trying to insult it, I'm just saying it doesn't really have an identity. <laughs> so you gotta what? go to the outskirts so of like, Laurel to get certain. So like parts. weird shit of that weird shit. If like not, that. it's all a big mess. I'm actually pot. surprised to see that in Laurel. I am. Really. Yeah, because when I think of Laurel, I think of you were you were in the black Laurel. Girl. You were no, you were kind of on the edge though. You wasn't in the middle. See, that's What's the thing. The middle, like? the middle is what he's saying. Yeah. 
You're deep. You don't really want to be in the middle. You want to be in the like, edge. You can still go <laughs> to other parts of normalcy and like, oh, yeah, it's weird where I live. Oh, this is it's okay over here. But when you're deep. You might be in a normal neighborhood on the edge. Yeah. It might look more it's like PG County or Anne Arundel County or, oh, this is oh, this is like Baltimore transplants. Middle, Howard. Like? middle is like a mixture of everything. So, and it's yeah. weird. It's a weird. You see a lot of, you see a lot of interesting couples. Oh, you know what? You see. Okay. Yeah. You see what we're saying? No, no, for okay. real. I'm not. It's not, it's not a bad, bad thing. No, no, no. Yeah. It's not a negative thing. But it's just like, see a lot it's of noticeable. Experience. It's like, man. A lot of interesting couples. What, what's what's, what's happening here? Middle, uh, Laurel. Like, is there a story? Where in the is of Laurel? Laurel? Uh, what's the, what's the, like, the middle, middle of Laurel? Probably, like, um. That's a big area in the uh, middle. There. I would say somewhere on Route 1. I am about to say, it, Route 1 is in the middle of it. Route 1, is, Route one goes yeah. through the middle of Route Laurel. Route 1 look weird to me. Yes, yeah, it it's does. Cause somewhere cause where that L.A. Fitness is okay. and... <laughs> somewhere between the L.A. Fitness and, and the Planet and Fitness. And Planet Fitness. Yeah, yeah, the Planet the car Fitness. At, yeah. It's like the hub, the hub is there and everything that is closest to that. And is, then you got like little you know, little, there, little College Park there That's too. It's weird. Because yeah. it's like a little... It's like so a it's little not even that. It's dingy. It's Hispanic just like section. Not, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. I'll so, give that to you. Um, hold up. I want to talk about uh, just briefly... Uh, I'm not gay no more. My man, uh, Andre Caldwell, what's his name? Andrew. I've been del- Andrew Conway- Caldwell. I've been delivered. Oh, what's oh, we're talking about? He got a little girlfriend there, Who is man. Andre oh, Caldwell? Yeah, that's that's not news because nah. he news. always... I don't even know who that is. I'm not I've gay no more. I'm not gay no uh, more. I've been delivered. I'm not gay so no more. I like women. <laughs> Was he ever gay? I mean, you seen that video? They, did, they, yeah, he's still they have gay. posted him with a couple of different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen one yeah. outside of. A, it was like yeah. that night outside. What is, yeah. what is what is your point? About what, what, what did you want? What did you want to get? What did you want to drive home about this? Kid? I didn't want. I just you know. He's not gay. <laughs> he may not be. He might have been delivered. Yo, this is some weird <laughs> news. Pussy, do that. Did you hear about the woman? <laughs> did you hear about the woman suing Geico for one million dollars after she participated in some adult activities? Hold on. And dog. contracted an STD oh, a from car. a man in the back seat of his car, which was covered by Under the Geico. insurance. Yeah, provider. I did hear about that. I wonder if she will win. Is she a white woman? A uh, dozen. Is this say, a Karen? Probably. That's weird. What kind of STD? That's actually intelligent. I don't know if black people, Keisha's, have the resources to. uh, They have the creativity. We got the creativity to take some shit. Yeah, Yeah, but we don't have a privileged mindset to be like, you know what? I'm going to sue and I'm going to win. And the resources. That's what I'm saying. Oh, they're suing the guy because they're They're suing suing the guy. They should be suing the guy. They should be suing the guy. Yeah, they're suing. Like, I'm going to go with the money. insurance. Because it's insurance and it insurance. happened in the car. So right. huh. it's an accident. Now she has medical bills that. I mean, she might win. I don't I don't see it. That's actually very. You, you're pushing the limits of it's what clever. car insurance is for. Yeah. But hey. hey. It was a collision. Any, any type of malpractice. <laughs> right. It was a it collision. It was a collision. Shit, you know. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Clapping going. Weather on. ways to come up. <laughs> Smashing. Yeah, keep us posted on that. I want to know. How I that. would. I mean, if she comes up off of this, this is crazy. She got smashing that dude car. I'm, I'm a part of this group of this. Uh, where it's like you know a financial literacy Facebook group. That's good. We need. Um, that. Well, people were asking like, "Hey, are there any millionaires in this group? If so, how did you get your first million? Oh, that's dope. And so people had up. all kinds of answers. That were millionaires, but one of them, uh, one lady stuck out to me. She was like, I got my first million from suing the white man and sticking it to him. And she basically was talking about how she was at work and um, something happened where they asked her to get her subordinate some coffee or something like that. Mm-hmm. So she sued him for racism. Um, and then she, the yeah, and then she sued uh, somebody else. So basically, she's had a she's couple a successful lawsuits. <laughs> she's 
She's a sewer. Yeah, I was a sewer. But there are a lot of people who do that type of stuff. I mean, yeah, that, yeah. That, what's that, that dude? What's that comedian that's why I dude? That's how people um, are homeless. There's so many different ways to make money. Comedian dude yeah. from uh, from Dallas, Texas, man. I want to say that nigga talking about how many times he done sued companies he worked for, man. People, dog. People like look out for this, that stuff, bro. Like, yeah, some people do, yeah. Some people do. But that's the beauty of this country. Hey, speaking of this country, let me ask y'all something. Are y'all triggered when you see the American flag? No. Depends on where it is. What? I am. What are we saying? Yeah. By, I like, am. What are we saying by trigger? Like, I'm not triggered? Like, like, do, no do you feel? Do you feel? Do you feel a way when you see the American? I flag? do. I, Proud I, American. I and, I do like get, triggered that way or like man fuck, fuck that them. flag fuck that flag burn that joint I oh yeah that's because I heard I overheard some people talking about it and I was like damn you know what oh I, I don't be like I definitely don't be like yeah proud yeah, American proud American but man, I don't know if I be like man whatever but. I'll tell you what I don't do when that if I'm like shopping for stuff, I don't be trying to rep the flag like that. Right. I don't if it's got some so, American flag stuff on, I'll be like, next. I ain't trying to wear that shit. So yes. That, you know I saying? feel the same way. But the only time that um that I do cling not necessarily cling, but the, the only country. time that I will kind of rep the country is when I'm not in it. So mm. but even like Almost, I, I, I kind of don't even do it when I'm away because one is dangerous because some people can see, oh, American, like it's a, it almost, almost makes you a target. Um, but I do, I do like, like when I'm away, like <laughs> Europe or you know, a place like that, that I do feel like, okay, well, this hey, is I'm American, uh, yeah, rep your city. I do it during the Olympics. Yeah, me too. I'd be like, oh, okay, let's yeah, see I how mean, much how much we got, how many goals we got. I'd like that's literally I the only time. I'd be wanting the American to be winning everything. I do be wanting the Americans to win. Oh, oh, oh but I'm I, saying you don't be like. I'll let me, be upset. Let bro. me put my no. American. No, my, no. my day don't. Even I don't America. think I, I own right, any right, right, right. thing with an American flag on it. We don't fly it outside our house. If I if I see it being flown in the middle of nowhere, if I'm driving down a long I'm going country, so that's a racist. Yes, really, uh, the American joint. Yes. yes, I just automatically think military. Oh, oh that, they okay, be that racist too. too. That too. <laughs> <laughs> they do. There's racist everywhere. Remember that lady I was telling you about? Um, I found the uh, thread. So she, uh, <laughs> sorry, really quick. The, her manager asked her um, why she wasn't making coffee for a white male coworker. To which she replied, "It's not her job in her job description. She's a grade higher than him, mm. and um, he should be making her coffee. That's and right. because this isn't 1950, um, she was the number one regional employee and uh, had all the reports to prove it. So when they fired her." For creating a hostile work environment and workplace mm. violence, she took them to court. That is racism. She took them to court no. and won eight hundred seventy-six thousand dollars after her. taxes and lawyers. Damn right, she oh, should. Good for her. That was after taxes. And the lawyers. second, the second. Oh, she. Oh, she became a professional with this. this oh, this is the one you were talking yeah. about. Yeah. yeah. The oh. second suit, she sued the doctor for medical malpractice and personal injury. He's That's now in jail. As this uh, was found to be a pattern amongst women of color, she won $1.5 million. Oh, she, she a hero then. The third time. Goddamn. <laughs> the third time. Goddamn, she, goddamn, goddamn. She, <laughs> Hold on. What, what, what did she, was she getting plastic surgery then? I don't know. The third time she sued I'm the almost, police. I'm almost. The doctor was doing something wrong. I'm almost. To multiple women. And he's now in jail. Uh, well, it was a pattern of get, um, amongst yeah, Africans. Because he's in jail now. Um, the third time she sued the uh, police. Well, if he's in jail, pay, possibly. Yeah. Sued the police department after they pulled her over three times within 65 miles, supposedly for speeding. But if, um, I cut it off so I can't see well, um, how much she got for the police department? But my point is, she's been successful. She how much did she get for the police department? I don't know. So, my, right. uh, my mistake. Damn. Damn. That's all right. 
Yeah. She just, hey, that's the one woman you don't want to play with, dog. Mm-hmm. When she says she going to do it, she, she going to yeah. do it. Right. Right. Other people said that uh, this one guy said his journey to a million started after his divorce, worked three jobs, ran the carpet cleaning business. Now I own a $1.2 million real estate, uh, 1.2 in real estate assets. So I got rid of my lady and focused. Right. (laughs) She wasn't helping. She was hurting. Got rid of that dead weight. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. A lot of people say real real estate, but yeah, one comment estate. stuck out to me. It said, "To become a millionaire, you need to figure out how to make three thousand eight hundred forty six dollars a day. So if you sell or offer 3, 000, a service, three thousand dollars a day. Yes, and you can manage to get twenty people to give you one hundred and ninety two dollars and thirty cents a day or more. You're in. <laughs> how much money a day? I mean, how much? Um, Three thousand a day. How much? How much do you got to get? You got to get twenty people. To twenty give you people what? to give you a hundred and ninety-two. So just round it up to two hundred. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's doable. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that's doable. Hmm. Twenty people to give you two hundred dollars yeah. every day. Man, well, we well, that's that's a number. More, if you can get a hundred people, that's just. The, if you can get a hundred people to give you fifty. Shit, if we get mm-hmm. five people to well, give us, I was just about to say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you get five people to give you a couple, a couple thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. That's real estate, though. You can run it up. That's real estate, dog. I mean, you can have a product, man. Man, people be making millions off of selling candles. Man, you could. Yeah. Fucking socks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Of which, if you got there going contractor. All right. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Got your little co- government contracting company. Yeah. Hey, you about ten employees doing what? Hey, hey minority owned. They and they going. They not looking for our type of not minority. Not anymore. Well, no, but I mean, yeah, that's for, the thing. That's the white thing. women minority. <laughs> that's yeah. The, yeah, that's the trick when um, the Democrats come out with this minority shit, man. Yeah. That shit is always minorities, and then we gotta get whatever's left over from all the other minorities. As black people. Yeah. On that note. <laughs> Y'all go get y'all. I'm gonna wrap this shit up. <laughs> Till next get time, y'all. Out. Peace. Hey, let us know what y'all did and make y'all first million. Yeah. Yes, let us know. Actually, yeah. Actually, yes. Let me know if you know any gay racists too. <laughs> 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 we got some connects for. Them.